Hello, my name is Joseph Fialo with The Light Clinic, and today we're going to be doing a meditation for activating your belly brain. All right, thanks for joining me today. Today we're going to be doing something really fun. Uh, we're going to be trying to get out of our head and down into our belly brain. And what's the belly brain? It's, it's this whole system, neurological system in your gut. There's so many nerves inundating that, so much circulation that moves in there. It's a very alive, active, responsive system for our body. And it is arguably even more involved in our experience of the world than our brain up top, our thinking brain. So when we get into our belly brain, we start thinking a little bit more with our intuition. We start thinking a little more intuitively. There's an instinctual feeling, emotive intelligence in our belly brain. So we want to activate that to try to balance out the headiness. And when we get into patterns where we're overthinking or we're too stimulated through academic work or even just academic focused conversations and we need to get out of that we need to get back in our bodies activating the belly brain helps us get back in our bodies to see things from a different angle this can help with your own creativity your own productivity your brainstorming for new ideas for all sorts of things or just for being more in, in touch with your own physical emotional spiritual experience in life so Let's explore getting into our belly brain. Okay, so wherever you are, let's take a seat and be comfortable. Whether you're on the floor or on a chair, just rest your body against whatever support you have. And allow yourself to just be there. Just sit. Just be in this moment. If it's comfortable for you, you can rest your eyes, allowing the lids to close. Or maybe it feels best just to let your gaze gently fall down towards the floor. So just bring your awareness inside your body. We don't realize it, but a lot of times we're experiencing the world around us, the fabric of life around us, but we forget to tune into what we're feeling inside of us. If you think about that, think about how you might be engaged listening right now. And you may be listening to my voice, you may be looking at the computer or the phone. You may be hearing sounds in the room. Maybe somebody's going to need something. Maybe you'll get a phone call. We have all this awareness that is centered on our experience around us, and we're projecting it out. We're thinking about all these other things around us. But we don't always keep the internal awareness continuous. We sometimes break the continu continuity of our internal awareness and just get emerged in everything around us. So what we're doing is we're trying to bring our focus back, withdraw it from everything around us, and we're going to withdraw it inside the boundaries of our skin. So rest your gaze. Feel your body sitting on your seat and start letting go of any awareness of the outside room and try to just become equally aware of what's inside the boundaries of your skin. You might feel the little skin and body hair tickles. You might feel little bits of tension. 
You might just feel the movement and vitality inside your body. But we just want to connect you with your body right now. And notice if something makes a sound outside of your skin boundaries in the room or outside of the window. Notice how that tries to pull you out of your awareness inside your body. Just notice that and then come back to your awareness inside your body if it does pull you out. Just come right back to inside your body. That's the practice of meditating. It's the practice of letting things go that try to pull your focus away and coming back to your focus. Here, our focus is inside the skin. And find your breath. And just watch it in, as it moves inside your body. And just notice how your breath fills your body, fills this empty space deep inside. And then just as easily exit. And then know that with every filling breath, we're creating nourishment for our body, for our blood. We're bringing in oxygen that transfers to our bloodstream and vitalizes all of our tissue throughout our body. And we're exhaling carbon dioxide, waste that we don't need. We're putting it back out into the world and letting the world transform it as the earth is so capable of doing and designed to do. And just take a moment feeling totally at peace with just being inside your body, inside the boundaries of your skin. Just paying attention to the whole world going on in there. And watching your breath. This process will already start getting you down into your belly brain very naturally. But we're going to bring a visualization in to help. Mm, so as you're looking inside your body, let's turn our awareness to the solar plexus. And for that, I'm going to be using as a definition for your solar plexus the entire abdomen from the rib cage down to the pelvic bones. Let's, let's just call that whole thing the solar plexus for now. So your whole abdomen, the whole circle of your abdomen, starting from your diaphragm underneath your ribs and down the whole circle of your abdomen. And bring your awareness in there as you relax your belly If you have the capability of letting it roll out a little bit, you let your belly roll out a little. Relax it instead of squeezing it in, which we learn that's a habit we develop. We just, we've got to also develop the habit to relax it and to allow your organs, your abdominal organs to settle, release, relax in their own positions as your belly rolls out the abdominal organs relax as well. 
And let your breath move into that lower belly, and the whole solar plexus. And feel as the breath comes in, the space it creates between your organs. Feeling like an opening of your breath into your belly. Now let's try to transfer our awareness. We've been thinking through our mind as we've transferred our awareness inside our skin. We've still been looking at things through our mind. And slowly, steadily, it'll switch. And it'll start to be a heart awareness. And you can get it to switch even more to a belly awareness. And let's see. Let's just see what that might feel like. If you set the intention to think from your belly. Put yourself in your belly and experience the world from your belly. What's your belly thinking? What's your belly feeling? What's your belly experiencing? What's it communicating to you? Again, we don't need our conscious mind for this as much. Maybe just turn it down to about 5 to 10% conscious mind. And let's really try to just experience your body, your sensations, your presence here in the room, experience it through your belly. As if you're allowing your conscious mind to follow instead of lead, and you allow your belly to lead. What if your belly was making the choices? Not just about food, but about difficult situations in life. And shine your awareness through your belly, like light shining out, like a lighthouse. If you remember the Care Bears, that idea like you're shining light out of your belly and into the world. So you can relate to people in a very grounded, intuitive, balanced feeling, emotive kind of way. Feel the compassion in yourself growing as your belly brain comes alive. Compassion, trust, understanding, empathy. And the shadow side is worry. But if you activate it healthfully, whenever that worry is happening, you need to activate your belly brain a little more. Activate it healthfully. It's trust with a capital T. The deeper trust that everything is as it should be. We are exactly where we need to be. We are a child in love with the universe. The same way we were when we were a baby. Good and slowly, gently coming back to an experience of our whole body inside our skin.
feeling our heart open, the breath move through our blood vessels, into our palms, hands and feet. the inner smile, awareness to the skin and the body hair. And let's set the intention as much as we can moving forward to keep our awareness about 50-50 between our internal experience of the world and our external experience or prediction of experience of the world. About 50-50, so even as you come back to the room and start to experience the room, you still have about 50% of your awareness of your consciousness inside, on what's happening inside your body. And this is a very balanced way to go through life. It'll keep you from getting ahead of yourself a little bit. It'll keep you grounded. And it'll keep you more authentic, more honest in yourself, and who you want to be, who you want to express in the world. Every moment's a decision. We are what we tolerate. It's a great saying. And just set the intention that you don't want to tolerate not having an internal awareness. So you strive to make it happen until it becomes effortless. Which it will. It will become natural. It is natural. It's just getting back to our natural ability. Thank you guys for joining me again today. It was so special all this time together. Uh, please be sure to subscribe, like our page, that sort of stuff. That way we can keep working together as we go. Thank you all. Take care.